No reason for me to be laughing, no reason. I need more water. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yumiko, and if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like. But today's video is going to be a thrift haul. This is a combination of the Goodwill bins, the Goodwill store, and also a thrift store called Bees Knees, which is in Athena, Oregon. If you're ever there or near the area, I suggest you check it out. The lady who owns it is like super sweet and super nice, and I love the place and got a bunch of stuff from there. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from those thrift stores, and yeah, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off strong with this Nike jacket. It's very lightweight, so it's like I can still wear it during spring. My favorite thing is that the zipper is actually the Nike logo, if you can see. So, so cool. Um, I was like, I cannot pass this up, so I ended up getting it. The next thing I got was this silk rope, which is actually not silk, it's polyester, but it looks like silk, okay? It's from California Dynasty, no idea. But it's so cute, I don't have anything like this, and it has like little lace on the sleeve, yeah. So, I love it. It's very long, and I'm short, but like that doesn't matter, because I'm still gonna wear it. So this is probably most likely for like fall and winter, but I still had to get it because it's a Columbia vest and it's like this like cream color and yeah, I don't know what to say about it. I don't like the inside a lot, but I feel like the outside just like makes up for it and it's not like I'm going to be like, look at me, you know what I mean? So I don't know where I'm going to wear this to, but I will find a way to wear it because it's really, really beautiful. Um, it's this cute little dress in this gray color with like sparkles. I don't know if you can see. And the back is this crisscross moment. So adorable. Like, what? I need help actually styling these because I have no idea how to wear them. But they're these Wrangler pants. Um, like, kind of cargo looking pants. I don't know if that's like the correct word. But... I don't know how to style these, so if you have any ideas, let me know. But I just love them, so I had to get them. If it doesn't tell you how excited I am for summer, then I don't know what will. But, like, look at the colors. So pretty. I love it. I want to get into start wearing more pink, so I was like, this is perfect. Again, spring and summer are coming. Shorts. These are Old Navy OG High Rise. Literally in this cute cream color, which I feel like cream, green, and brown are, like, really in right now. And I was like... Perfect. This is what I would consider like very also like vintage because it's a coca-cola Sweatshirt, it's like gray and like blue sleeves and you can tell See it's coca-cola literally So dope. I love it. The only thing that would like bother me. I guess is because it has a three three inch three quarters three quarters of a sleeve, but like I guess it's like for spring because it's like not long I have no idea, but I am gonna wear this because I love it Next thing are two little cardigans. This is a black one. It's from American Eagle. And literally, how can you not love that? The next one is, don't know the brand, it's called Brit and Brie, but it's very thin material. It's perfect for spring and it's pink, so I'm excited to wear it because like I said, I wanna wear more pink. This is probably one of my favorite purchases. I actually got this from the bins. They are these brown corduroy pants. Like what? They're like, tight in the legs and then they do a little bit of flaring out not a lot but i feel like it's like the perfect amount but i am so excited to wear these I was definitely not expecting to find them and i when i found them i was like and they tried them on and i was like i have to get them i have to get them okay so next thing i literally seen them everywhere i feel like everybody has one and i don't have one i was like i feel like it's my turn and goodwill so yes so this is an h&m bodysuit it's in this black material it's very thin and I feel like you can like layer it if you need to so you can like use it like in spring but also like in winter or like summer whenever you want to use it next thing i got it's this cropped hollister boyfriend tee um you can tell that the person cropped it themselves because like i can like tell from like how they cut it i mean honestly i would have done worse because i am really bad with scissors somehow i don't know but i am Apparently, I really love gray because the next thing I have is this long sleeve um, shirt. Yeah, long sleeve shirt. <laughs> um, and I thought it was really cute with like the little detailing um, around the chest area. Love it. I think I can like still wear it for spring because it gets a little bit cold in the mornings and then it gets hot. So then we went a little basic. We got a, we got a black black shirt. Nothing too special about it. It's from Peru, which I think is super cool. Very, very, very basic, but very much needed, I think. We have another cardigan moment. Um, this is a blue one. It's a very nice shade of blue. 
So I don't know, it kind of actually reminds me of the ocean a lot. Love it, I'm excited. Cute little top inside, done. You can never have too many t-shirts, little graphic tees. So this is a Obey graphic tee. Um, I don't know, I love the color again. I'm very into blue as you can see. Um, very excited to wear this. Okay, I have another shirt and this is a Humane Society shirt. It has a little kitty and some fishies. Like, it's so cute. Like, I'm so excited to wear this because, like, I feel like there's not a lot of shirts that have animals on them. But, like, this makes it, like, really, really cute. Next thing I got is this extra large Carhartt long sleeve shirt. I couldn't pass it up because, first of all, it's Carhartt. Second of all, not like I need more shirts to work out in, but apparently I thought I did. So, I got it. Again with the gray, <laughs> but it's this gray H&M uh, little top. It's in like this mesh material. It's kind of weird. I don't really know, but I thought it was going to be cute with like a skirt or something. Honestly, you could dress it up or dress it down. So next thing I got is this pretty little thing um, skirt. It's a skirt, um, but I am going to make it into a dress because me and long skirts don't really like each other. It's supposed to like look good on short people, but I just... I don't like long skirts, so I am gonna make it into a dress, okay? Don't judge me. It's one of those like tight ones, so like it's gonna look good when it's like as a dress and probably wear it with like, what, like a jean jacket? Obviously without the shirt, <laughs> but I feel like it will look good. So that's what we're gonna be doing. A little DIY moment. And the last clothing item that I got is this flannel jacket. So it's like a flannel, but it has a thick material inside. Um, a little jacket moment. Um, it's not like I can ever have too many flannels. Um, not like I have a collection of them. It's from the brand Covington. I don't really know it, but again, so, so cute. Yumiko, you might ask yourself, Yumiko, what else did you get? <laughs> I got books. I got books. A lot of books. Um, do I read them? We'll see. Okay. First up, we have If the Truth Fits by Julie Murphy, and I read the back, it sounded good, and literally the front just screams summer, and I was like, must get it. Second book, I'm a film major, and I was like, I have to get this. It's a how to make good movies. Um, I don't know who wrote this, but it's I know it's very old because it's like in black and white, um, so I don't know. I felt like my duty as a film major was to buy this book, and so I did. This is one of my favorite TV shows, but I didn't know they had books, and apparently they do, so I got it. I know you usually like read before you see, but I didn't know they had books, okay? So don't come for me. Look at it, how cute does this look? It's called Love Does by Bob Goff, I think that's how you say it. My roommate told me it's actually a Christian book, and I was like, dope. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. All right. Titles always get me, and this is called The Liar's Room. It says, two liars, one room, no way out. And I was like, must get. And now we're here, and I got it, so. This one seemed very, very interesting. It's called The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog, and other stories from a psych child psychiatrist notebook, which traumatized children can teach us about loss, love, and healing. And I was like, seems interesting, must get. I'm telling you, the titles get me. This is called A Stranger in the House. Who was the stranger? I would like to know. And now I'm gonna find out if I read it, when I read it. <laughs> These last two are hard book covers and I was like, cool, must get. So it's called A Dangerous Man. I would like to find out who the dangerous man is, why he is dangerous. So I got it and we're gonna know. This one is called Through You. I actually remember what this is about. Well, somewhat. It's a boyfriend and a girlfriend, well, a couple. And the girlfriend dies and then he tries to like see if he can like talk to her and like he can talk to her through like this other world like a dystopia type of thing and like she finds out i think she's like with somebody else or something like that i have no idea it sounded really good and i'm excited to read it 13 year old me would be screaming if she knew i had this but it's spider-man like like how could i not get this you know what i mean I, I had to. It was probably some child's most prized possession, and now it's my prized possession. Like, look at it. Like, how can you not love it? I almost want to show you guys this, but it's this 
LVP, a little black purse. Um, I think that's what it is. Um, but it's just very simple, very basic, and I love little black purses. I want to get more purses, like, in different colors, like, little ones. So hopefully I can find more in my next thrifting adventure, but we'll see. Thank you for watching until the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun because I love thrifting, and thrifting is now my hobby. My new hobby. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a like and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, what are you still doing? You literally watch until the end of this video. Come on. You know you like it. Go subscribe. Comment below what your favorite thrift store is or like your favorite thing that you found at a thrift store. Let me know and I'll go like and comment back to you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.